Good afternoon, Money.net Live. Welcome. We got Todd, the Godfather. Todd Father, we all know and love him from Wyckoff Trading. How are you, Todd? I am good. How are you? Man, I tell you what, you've been nailing in the crypto space. Like you, you own that space, I think, in a lot of ways. What are your thoughts here now that we're sitting at 27,640? What are your thoughts now? I mean, uh, I did take some profits on profit stops on Ethereum, uh, Litecoin, and uh, BNB. Still on Bitcoin here. Uh, I did raise my stop up a little bit tight mm. a little bit ago for our Discord group. Uh, I'd mentioned they looked a little toppy there above 28.5, 28.7 on some TikTok updates I did. Uh, so I'm just not sure here. I mean, I don't know whether it's going to follow NASDAQ down or whether we have still a flight to safety because of banking issues. So, But my indicators on Bitcoin, I mean, the, my technometer, 38 is normally saying it's a, a buy, 50 is a sell, we're at 42. So mm. any sell off, I mean, I'm probably going to be a buyer. I'm just not sure what level that would that would give me to be a buyer. Yeah, I've been selling my own Bitcoin at 28,500. Time it gets up there, I've been slipping a little bit. Uh, selling a little bit more and off and on. Uh, I'm looking to buy back, but I just don't feel comfortable with it. Is, am I in the same boat as everybody else? I mean, I've got an Elliott Wave count. I mean, we could fall, I guess, as low as 24,000 on a scare. Mm -hmm. So I don't see that currently, but that is a possibility. Okay. I'm and sure uh, we'd be bullish down there. So absolutely. I agree with you on that. I would be too, as well. Uh, but let me ask you what I have been hearing quite lately, and we've been talking about it earlier was gold and silver. Uh, what do you like in the gold and silver space? I mean, I trade the GDX some. Uh, not the metals quite as much. I mean, I did have a, uh, I can share my GDX chart. Yeah. Let me share that real quick and then we'll talk about the S&P as well. This is the GDX. You can see here, I did have a buy on uh, March 9th. I mentioned that in the week in review. So mm -hmm. I was looking really just for a, uh, probably a corrective rally from the decline we had there from 33 down to 27. So we did get that. Uh, I was looking for somewhere around that 30 level. We got that. So I did say, you know, again, you can see my technometer got to 52. That means we're going to sideways to lower, but here we are back down to 39.76. So I'd still be friendly on GDX again, probably next week on some type of pullback. Uh, Maybe we completed an A up. We're looking for a B down and then another C wave up. So. Yeah, that makes it makes sense. And the mine, the gold miners, and you know, I'm, I keep hearing from around the country is that gold is being mined as the fastest rate possible right now, and they just don't have enough of it. People are buying so much of it. So well done there. The price action uh, definitely tells us what's going on. And what about the SPY? The, can we talk about the SPY? Absolutely. Get ready to say. It. How about those other stocks coming out? While I'm here, I mean, I mentioned on here a few times, I did buy a little bit up here at 404, did get stopped out down at 392.50 or so, did have a, another re-entry down here at 385, did have a sell uh, last week, and uh, thought we'd be lower to uh, sideways this week, really we was higher to sideways. I still look for a little bit more pullback in the stocks before I'm a buyer, but uh Hopefully a little bit of pullback next week and we can turn bullish on stocks and also the same on uh, Bitcoin. Yeah. And are you, are you feeling uh, comfortable for, especially with the Fed talk that's been happening this week and with uh, around the world, uh, the banking situation where you've got Christine Lagarde, you've got Janet Yellen, Biden, Scholes this morning talking about, oh, banking system's okay, don't worry about it but we're ready to put liquidity in if we need to. That tells me a lot right there. They don't know what's going on. Does that make you still feel comfortable about the uh, the S&P? In this, in this? No, I'm not. we're going to have a lot of volatility because I don't think anybody knows what's going on. I mean, while we got uh, the markets are saying rates should be a 1% lower than where they're at. Uh, so the market's not agreeing with the Fed. The Fed messed up, you know, lowering it as much as they did. So I don't know. I mean, I think a lot of volatility. I think you got to be a trader now, not an investor. Looking near short term, you got to try to bank some profits and, uh, you know, try to buy dips, sell rips, I think. Yeah, I was getting ready to ask you, is buy the dips, sell the rips still working here? I think that's what you got to do with the risk parameters that we have in place and with all the news going on, the changes every week. I love it. All right, uh, Todd, uh, definitely Wyckoff Trading, LearnCrypto.io. We'll see you here next week, man. All right. Thank you. Have a good weekend.